Hello YouTube, this is Remington H. Today I'm going to upgrade my outdoor HOA telescoping vertical. I bought a Wolf River Coils, the Silver Bullet 1000 I believe it's called. I'm going to take the Wolf River Coil out of the box and see what we have. Okay, so it comes packaged in this uh, padded envelope. Just took it out of the box. There it is. Uh, it is substantially larger than my Radio Waves P80. And it also has this nice collar that clicks so I can more precisely adjust the, uh, the matching. Let's go ahead and compare it to the Radio Waves P80. I think they call it the Patriot 80 coil that I'm going to replace with this. This is the Radio Waves P80. And this is the Wolf River Coil Silver Bullet 1000. Um, wow. I was not expecting that. That is significantly larger. Hopefully I'll be able to get down to 160 meters with this, which would be really nice with the telescoping 20 foot. Uh, MFJ 1979, I believe it is, uh, telescoping coil. Wow. Okay. Well, hopefully there's less loss here, which will lead to better performance. I'm going to go ahead and have to dig this out because it's gotten kind of loose. And uh, once I set it up, we'll see how it works on digital modes. Here is another size comparison between the two coils. I don't know if uh, it's gonna really be obvious. Thicker wire spaced further apart. So that should work well. Hopefully construction looks very nice. It's got a click thing in there. So supposedly you can click it up and down It's able to get it down to one to one there at about 7.2 megahertz. And I'm not very far down. On the, the P80 coil, I'd be almost halfway down. But on the um, Wolf River coil, not far down at all. I probably could have got the 40 meter one and still gone down to 80. But I'm very pleased with this so far. I don't even have the matcher in line. I have a one-to-one -one SWR. Let's go and take it down to 80 meters. That is where it is with 80 meters. Again, this is a fully extended 20-foot MFJ 1979 telescoping vertical and a two-foot Hustler mast. Absolutely bottomed out and it doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to get to 160 meters. A little disappointed in that, but not that I would expect it to actually work. I mean, it would probably radiate a quarter watt or something, you know, but whatever, I wasn't expecting that. Okay, there's the finished product. I wet the ground, soaked it up and pulled the pipe out and drove it back into the ground straight and more securely hopefully there's the coil and I'm gonna go ahead and extend this uh, it's about 3 p.m. so I don't know if I can really get a good read on its efficiency on the lower bands but I'm gonna go ahead and tune it up and fire up a PSK reporter make some JT, WSJT transmissions and see if we can tune it up for digital. Probably link that's lengthen it slightly there. There we go. Okay, I'm back in the shack. Today we'll be using the IC7300, which I haven't really uh, done a video on yet. Bring it down to 
seven. Gonna do a real low power. SWR check. SWR is the last line right here. Looks good. Let's go ahead and crank it up a bit. I'm gonna turn the volume up a little bit. You guys can hear. Might be a little too much. CQ, new state. We're on FT8. Not much activity. We'll go ahead and uh, enable transmit. Flat SWR here. Very possible I'll get a response. CQ, new state. Flat SWR. That one showing 1.2. No reason to uh, bother tuning it up. I'll do one more transmission here. Uh, I'm getting a response. New state. New state, New Mexico. I went ahead and did the call first, so it's all automatic from here. He's reading me negative 07 at 3.15 p.m. on a hot Texas afternoon on 40 meters. But yeah, looks great. No fluctuation in SWR at all. It's, it's flat, as good as you're gonna want to see. And then once this is done, I'll take a look at uh, PSK Reporter and see see where we're at. Go and log this contact. This logs into my log for old man, <laughs> log for OM. Get it in focus there. Recent QROs, there he is. It then gets um, uploaded to QRZ, and from Q QRZ it gets uploaded to Logbook of the World. So it's a pretty good setup I have. Works, works good for me. Well, there is where my 20, 40 meter signal propagated. Minus 8 dB there. Minus 16 there, minus plus 5 there. Very loud in uh, Kansas, it looks like. Minus 8, plus 7 in Texas. Looks like maybe San Antonio. So that's good. I'm, I'm uh, very happy with this performance so far. I'll do some more videos on FT8 or some general digital operations. Uh, at another time at night when it when it works better if I got on 20 I probably see South America propagation Canada propagation CQ. all over the US Understood. probably wouldn't see a whole lot of uh, DX in the middle of the day on 20 meters right now thank you for watching and 7-3